And this is what she looks like. And um, right off the back, I'm like, okay, okay. You know, I'm interested to see if that's even going to show up. I am very intrigued to see if that is even going to show up. Are you going to show up? I mean, are you made for me? Welcome back for another video with your girl, Shalinda One. As you know, recently, Anastasia, 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 what is it? Anastasia, that's what I'm gonna call her. Um, she dropped a few new goodies. Now, the last palette that I got from her was the Subculture palette. And I know a lot of people hated it, and at the end, it was something that I indeed was a little disappointed in, but I still use it. Have it on my eyes right now, just saying. But um, that's the last thing I actually purchased from her. But recently she came out with a new palette called Soft Glam, which I do not have. She also came out with the Embreezy highlighter, which I do not have. But I did make one purchase. And that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in Mahogany. So I definitely did pick this up. Um, I'll put the price right here so that you can see how much I pay for it. This is the packaging, this is the box that it came in. And like I said, I did get mahogany. And this is what she looks like. And this, she, the packaging is beautiful. This is her right here, the beautiful mirror. So it comes with a mirror. And this is the shade right here. So the question is, is this even gonna show up on my skin? I mean, let's keep it real. You know, like look at it, it's like my skin tone. So is this gonna show up? on my skin to actually do anything as far as bronzing my face. The texture is every, it's so soft. It is such a soft finish. And as you can see right there, you don't even see anything. So it's, I'm, I don't know. I'm all about the actual demonstration. It says the powder bronzer for face and body creates a natural matte tactless finish for buildable coverage. So that's what it says, and I have to say, like once again, the packaging is beautiful, but it's all about that demo. What that demo do, boo? What that demo do, boo? <laughs> so we're just gonna jump into the demo right now. However, before we do that, <laughs> you already know. So did you go ahead? And, did you go ahead and subscribe? Because I guarantee you already knew what I was gonna say right there. But just in case you didn't. I need you guys to go ahead and subscribe for me so you never miss another video with your girl Shalinda One and definitely become a part of the notification squad by go ahead, click that bell so you'll never miss another video with your girl Shalinda One. So now to see what that demo do, boo. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so like I said, I have this color in mahogany. Um, and I'm, I'm not the darkest sister in the world. I wish I was because I love my melanin. So, if this is the darkest she has to offer, I'm a little nervous. But we're gonna try it. Let's just try, because we never know. What do I usually use, believe it or not, I use was by MAC. And this is their color in blunt. This is a blush that a lot of women of color used to use as a um, contour. Much anymore. And every once in a while, when I want like a soft um, con um, bronzing, I would use this. But for the most part, this is my go-to transition color. I have it on right now, and this is my transition color, love. So, I'm intrigued. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to use my Morphe M402 brush. I like it because it covers a lot of area, and it's slanted, so it can kind of get in there. So let's see. Let's feel it first. Ooh. I mean, no, it feels really nice. Y'all see that? Now remember, swatching it and putting it on your skin is two different things, but you can barely see that. And what I do see, I don't know if that's bronzing it or like, mm, it looks really pink to me. But let's try it. A lot comes off the brush under one swatch or one swipe. You saw, I didn't even swipe it, I just put it in there and a lot come off. So try to get 
that off. Start with the little and then build up. Okay, let's see. I see it. It's like right there. I don't know if I like what is. Let me just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Mm, let me do Shayla. Mm, pretty, pretty good. Mm. <laughs> That's my girl. Mm, not too shabby. <laughs> working <laughs> like it actually looks really nice this swatch is very deceiving don't 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 listen to the swatch because that swatch did not say this it looks so much better applied to the skin I definitely see the warmthness of it and it's not too ridiculously heavy um, if you wanted to go in with a darker contour to kind of add a little bit more structure to the skin, you totally could, but I have to say, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. It works. Look, I mean, I, it, it's really pretty, actually. I didn't expect that to work. I really enjoy the way that looks, almost to the point where I want to go in a little bit more, which I shouldn't, but I just did. I really enjoy the way that looks. Okay, this, I uh, when I ordered it, I was like, let me just try it. I don't know if it will really work on my skin because from looking at pictures, it's a little deceiving, but it works nicely to look. That's beautiful. Huda, Huda. This is a good one. Good job. Okay, let me finish my face and I'll be right back. Makeup is done, guys. Makeup is done. And as you can see, I've added my other face powders to it. So I almost feel like it has taken away from the bronzer a little bit, but you can still clearly see it. It definitely added some nice, soft, diffused warmth to my face. I'm kind of loving it. I have nothing negative to say about this bronzer. And me investing into a bronzer is very highly unlikely. However, I I was intrigued. I don't know why, but Anastasia, I Anastasia, I really want to try the rest of your product. I, I've never even tried the Huda Beauty Foundation. Have you guys noticed that? I get tagged all the time, but I've never tried it. I just didn't purchase it. And then the last time I went to Sephora, they didn't have it. So for some reason, I just I just didn't order it. So I definitely want to try out her foundation now. I definitely want to try out that new palette. I'm intrigued now, so I definitely want to check out that one. And the Embreezy highlighter, though I think it's stunning on her. I don't know. I just feel like it might be a little bit too much for my skin, so I'm more interested as if it ever goes into Sephora, I'll check it out then. Once y'all can swatch it versus purchasing it and not really loving it, because I like to, if I'm gonna purchase something, I want to use it. It's something I want to use, and if I don't like it, I can take that baby back to Sephora, to my makeup heaven. <laughs> but yes. I actually really love it, and I'm like, I want to add a little bit more. I'm going to. I don't care what you say. Oh, so good. I'm so shocked. First impression, I was not going to like this. Not even a little bit was I going to like that. I was like, that is never going to show up on my skin. It's never gonna show up, it's never gonna do what I needed to do. And not only has it done exactly that, but it has surpassed my expectation. It's buildable, as you can see. I done applied it like two, three times. And it's not patchy, it's it's very smooth. It's, look, it's very smooth. You don't see any patchiness. It blends out beautifully. I... Yep. 
Yep. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I definitely recommend it and hard. This is definitely showing the one approved. I really, really enjoyed this. This is probably, as of right now, my new go-to bronzer. So expect to see this in future tutorials because this really rocked, it It shocked me. Now, I believe that this came, these came out with, I think she came out with six and this is the darkest one. So I think that anyone lighter than me will definitely find one within their range. But if you're darker than me, I wouldn't be mad at her if she came out with maybe two more colors. It would it would be nice if she had just a if this extend this a little bit, just extend this a little bit, and I could start to mess with you. Another reason why I really kind of stayed away because again the social media and it, it speaks volumes to myself. Even as an older YouTuber or influencer, I am still a um, patron. I still buy makeup, and it's nice to be able to go and see other women of my color and darker being represented as beautiful and if you're selling me cosmetics and I want to buy cosmetics from you I need to know that you see me as beautiful because then it's like you just want my money you don't really care you just send us to go out there but if I feel or fake it that you see me as beautiful then I'll say hmm let me use her product because her products are made for me to feel even to for my for me to feel even more beautiful than I naturally already am. So I hope that makes sense. But that's why I kind of steered away from Anastasia. I would pick up a little bit here, pick up a little bit there because one, I am a makeup enthusiast. That's who I am. Um, I do, I will do clients makeup, but I'm not a hardcore makeup artist. I'm not going to get on here and do a bunch of different eye looks and all that stuff. I just love makeup. I love beauty. I love beauty in every form and fashion so that's who I am I don't apologize for it but I have to say and breezy um and breezy I have to say Anastasia I really like this bronzer and um I hope that I could start to see and if I'm not mistaken there is and from what I know from what I'm understanding that message has been relayed to her team and you can definitely start seeing more of us on her page and it just makes it makes me happy that when someone or when a demographic has an issue or has a concern rather that brands are open to hearing it and actually making adjustments that's what we're asking for. Make adjustments. We're not just complaining because we don't have nothing to do. Now I'm definitely intrigued to know a little bit more about her brand and to try more of her products because as of right now, she's starting to win me over. She's starting to win me over. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, stay with me. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to go absolutely everywhere and follow me at Shalinda1 and I will see you guys in the very next video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys. Question of the day, what is your current favorite bronzer? Could it be this one? Are you doing something else? List your favorite bronzers below so we all will know and see what else is out there in the beauty community for us gorgeous ladies. So definitely list your bronzers below. And be sure to go check out these videos if you haven't done so already. Love you guys. Bye.